Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Greetings. Blackheart Knight here. Today we find ourselves in Bar Harbor, Maine, where we find a fraudster by the name of Amagansett Press who disturbs the peace by antagonizing some cops after he tries to film a jewelry store without the owner's permission. So let's sit back and relax and watch as this blockhead disturbs the peace for absolutely no reason other than for clicks and views on his miserable little YouTube channel. I'll give credit where credit is due, Fraud Editor. Those are some beautiful shots of Bar Harbor. Maybe you should think about switching professions. This kind of thing would go well on YouTube. How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press. And we are coming to you today from Bar Harbor, Maine. Uh, we are in the downtown area of Bar Harbor here. And we're just going to pay a little visit on the folks of Bar Harbor today and find out if they honor and respect our right to take video and photographs in public and from publicly accessible areas of public places. Nope. That's not why you're there. You're just there to harass the cops and get clicks and views for your pitiful little YouTube channel, aren't ya? I am out with watching the Watchmen today. Oh good, the frauder brought a friend along. And uh, I've already given you a little look around here down by the water. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Um, fantastic. I'm going to give you another shot of it. And uh, while I'm doing that, time and temperature check. Today is Sunday, August 7th. It is 3.53 in the afternoon. And I'm just going to skip forward a lot because all he does is babble on for several minutes on end. Uh. Meyer is joining us. Oh, hello. Hi, what is this? I'm what, sorry? What is this? What is what? The video. What is the video? Yeah, the camera, the picture. Just take us a video. Are you guys with anybody or? I'm sorry? Are you guys with anyone? Am I with anybody? As far as a company or? <laughs> no, I'm asking because, I mean, you're filming a jewelry store, so I want to know, like, is this with, and now you're videoing me. Well, you came out to speak to me. So what, what are you, what company are you with? What is it? Well, that's a okay, little personal, a, isn't it? Well, you're videoing, so that's why I'm asking. Okay, so what, if I'm videoing, that means you can... No, I'm not, I'm not asking it to me, but I'm just asking like... No, no, I got you. I just feel like, I, I feel like we don't know each other well enough to be answering personal questions. So that would make more sense. You're videoing the jewelry store. I'm right. the manager of the store, so I'm asking. Okay. Yeah. Just taking some video. Okay. Is there any issue with that? It's a perfectly legit question, Frauditor. After all, this is a jewelry store, and there's a lot of criminals that would love to know the ins and outs of that place. You wouldn't happen to be one of those criminals, would you? Yeah, so the uh, manager is getting on the phone for some reason. I don't know if he's calling the uh, local PD or if he's calling the owner. But, uh, I don't know, a little strange. Oh yeah, it's a bit strange for a jewelry store owner to call the police when he sees a couple people outside of his store filming right directly in the doorway. I mean, what could possibly go wrong with that? Maybe we should ask Larry Lawton. By the way, you should check out Larry Lawton's YouTube channel. He's a ex-jewel thief that would tell you exactly why this is so legitimate. Gonna get a cam back here from this guy, too. It's coconut. 
coconut. It's coconut. It is. It's, coconut. it's probably my second most hated flavor. So I definitely know what it is. And you got to think, jewelry stores are always concerned with security, right? So he comes out and he says, well, you're filming a jewelry store. So obviously it's a security issue. They have the door wide open and all the employees just went into the back. Well, duh. I'm sure they went to the back as standard operating procedure just in case something like this happens and wait for the cops to arrive to deal with the situation. Yeah. And uh, they're concerned with a couple of guys out on the sidewalk taking photographs. Hey, dumbass, there's a difference between taking photographs and whatever it is you're doing. It looks like you are being so suspicious by standing outside of a jewelry store being a possible security threat with your frauded or camera. It's all about for security purposes. Um, if you guys don't stop video on us, I'm going to call the police. Sorry? If you don't stop video on this uh, jewelry store, we're about to call the police. If I don't stop videoing your jewelry yes. store, you're going to call whoever you want. Now I'm going to stay here. Pull whoever you want. It's the stupidest thing I ever heard. No, Frauder, I would say that's a rather intelligent thing for him to do, considering you might be a couple jewel thieves casing the joint. Did he just say he's going to call the police if we're out here taking pictures? Wow. Good luck with that. Good luck, buddy. Well, guys, and those of you who uh, follow our channels know, the Watchman and I have a steadfast rule. If uh, we believe that the police have been called or somebody tells us they're calling them, we uh, stick around. We don't leave until they get here. Uh, because A, number one, it gives us an opportunity to have a conversation and educate some folks here today. And uh, number two, I don't need the police driving around looking for me. So we uh, wait, we deal with it, and move on. So stand by. Oh, you're going to educate them. Can you please share your scaffolding model with us? And where in Bloom's taxonomy are you going to be headed? I'm sure with you guys, it's going to be just the first level. You're just going to try and impart knowledge onto them. You're not going to be creative or anything like that, like in the sixth tier, are you? Yeah, like Watchman's saying, there's so many people walking around with long lenses, big cameras here today. Um, you'll see them if you pay attention in the video. Uh, but the real issue this guy has is not us taking pictures. It's the fact that we wouldn't answer his questions as far as I'm concerned. Us being outside taking pictures uh, prompted him to come out and ask us what we were doing. And he didn't get the answer he wanted. So now he's calling the police on a couple of guys on the sidewalk with cameras. This is Sorry? Building. I just didn't know what you doing. Is your building? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? Good. How Say are you? Hey, old building. Hi. Hey, old building. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you need anything? Or you no, not at all. Are you okay? I'm doing fine. Good. So that's the building owner, according to her. She wants to know if we need anything and if we're doing okay. Pretty strange. They look very concerned with the security of the building. He's chewing eight pieces of gum. Give me a look at that. Bar Harbor Mount Desert Police Vehicle here. How are we doing? Bad. Pistachios or gum? Huh? Pistachios or gum? What do you mean? Oh, I just you were chewing on something when you pulled out. Oh, piece of pizza. Cool. What um, are you guys up to? Hope I didn't interrupt your lunch. Oh, are you filming me right now? Yes. Yeah, what are yeah. you guys up to? We were walking down the street taking some video, and evidently the uh, manager of the jewelry store feels like uh, we're not allowed to do that. Came out telling us to stop taking video out in front of his store. Oh, were you filming his store? I was filming everything I could see. His store, the water, people walking down the street. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Were you, like, directly filming his store is what I'm saying? Well, I mean, what's, the, you, diff what's just, the difference if I just, was? Are you just doing this? Or were you doing just filming his store, his what's jewelry the, store? What's the difference? Well, he's got concerns. That's oh, all. Okay. I don't feel yeah. like he's got concerns because I know what I'm doing, but... Oh, we know what you were doing. You were just filming a jewelry store so you could get the cops' attention, so you can antagonize them and bully them, so you can get clicks and views on your pathetic little YouTube channel. Isn't that right? Be honest with us.
Of course, you're a fraud or this won't be honest with us. We'll just have to pick it apart as we go along. You don't feel like he has concerns? Not at all. In a town like this, people walk around. I've probably walked past 15 people with a long lens camera taking pictures of whatever they can see. Yeah. Of course. Why would he? Well, what, what concerns would he have? I would be more concerned about the front door being wide open and all the employees going into the back room. That's, you know, I don't know. Okay. Are no. you the owner? I'm the owner of the building. Okay. And I just wondered why they were, my tenants were uncomfortable, so I came down to ask them the what way. they were filming. But Kelly would very much like to talk to you. Yeah. Now, these are probably just guys that just like to film and push, well, push really people's interested. buttons. Oh, this cop's on to you. I'm sure he's got the perfect recipe for how to deal with you. Let's watch and find out, and hopefully it'll be funny as hell. That's now, why would you Why would you tell her that? Well, why would you seriously tell her that? Well, because you got your camera right in my face. Like, it's not very respectful. What, what do you mean it's not respectful? Well, Where's your body camera? Huh? Where's your body camera? I don't have those. I got well, that's not respectful. Cameras. You should have a body camera. Yeah. Very They're not... That. There's, this is such a yeah. security issue. It's so unfair. No, it's not a security issue, and you shouldn't be exacerbating her fear. It's all right. You're, you're here to quell people's fears, not to, it's all right, buddy. Not to escalate the situation. Oh, Frauditor. He had you pegged for the moron you are, so you might as well move along, move along home, because you're not going to get anything out of him. Just keep putting cameras in people's faces. Right? I'll do whatever I want to do. I know. You know yeah. you it's ridiculous. It. You going to write me a jaywalking ticket if I cross the street? What a clown. That's a stupid way to be, man. It really is. You had an opportunity here today to make your citizens feel better about what's going on in the world, and you did the opposite. Where do you live? Fail. Major fail on your part. Where do you live? Major fail. None of your business where I live. Sorry, buddy. I, 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 treat, I give respect when I get respect. Okay. You, you didn't earn my respect here today, so have a nice day. Yep. Toodaloo, man. Maybe don't put your camera. Adios. Toodaloo. I don't want to hear it. Bye-bye. Yep. Yep. See, you See you later. Off you go. Oh, did the nasty cop not give you any film footage to play with? Or do you need to go home and get some warm milk and cookies? Corner to corner. How's it going, bud? Good. What is, what is the issue with taking video in this town? No, I didn't say there was an issue. Well, evidently there is. It's a major security issue for a couple of guys to be on the sidewalk taking video. Did I even come over and talk to you? Your partner did. And he just left and I can't... Am I in a vehicle with him? Sorry? Am so I... you have the same stupid attitude he has. That's ridiculous. Yeah, Why would you... you act like that? Because I'm parked here and you walked up to me. To ask you a question, I'm being respectful to you. There's yep. no reason... But you're videoing me. I don't want to be videoed. It's not, that's not your choice. Okay. Then you have no choice whether or not you want... the answer you're going to get. I think you're rude and disrespectful. Because I have a camera? Because I think you're rude and disrespectful. Because of how you're engaging people. What do you mean, how I'm engaging people? I'm what does that even mean? I'm parked here. You came up Have to I me. been disrespectful to you? You walked up to me. Correct. With the intent to start some type of No, engagement. I did not. I came up and asked okay. you if there's a problem with I've videotape. I've given you an answer. You're now free to walk away. You're not being detained. I'm free to walk away? You absolutely are. That means I'm free to stay. Whatever you need to do. Yeah. Very good. Hold you guys to task is what I'm going to do. You're ridiculous. You're absolutely ri get us get a supervisor down here is what you should do. You guys need to learn a lesson, man. You got a supervisor? Why don't you just be respectful? No, because I give respect face. when I get respect. You're acting like a clown. No, you're sticking cameras in you're a clown. Face. What's the difference? Hey, it's hey rude. the Supreme Court ruled I'm allowed to film That's you, buddy. Fine, get, used still rude. get used to it. Get used to it. That's fine. You're but rude. It's still rude. You're rude. Yeah. You're rude. Yeah. yeah. And you took an oath not to be rude. Did so I? yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah. You're supposed to protect and serve with courtesy and professionalism. I haven't seen that here today. Stick a camera in my face. What's your name and badge number? Jared Hardy. Jerry Hardy? Yeah. What's your badge number? I don't have badge numbers. What's your serial number? I don't have serial numbers. What's your vehicle number? I can see it. You have a number? No, I don't. See, this is what gets you guys in trouble, man. You don't you don't treat people with respect. Oh, sure. And then you want respect. Yeah, oh, you'll hear about it. Don't worry. I'm sure I will. You, oh, you will. All right. You're going to hear about it. Yeah. You guys are pathetic, man. Have a good day.
You know, you're sitting in the middle of the street blocking the road without your emergency lights on. Put your emergency lights on when you block traffic. It's your policy. It's your policy. Follow the rules if you're going to enforce them. People are ridiculous. So this is, what vehicle number is this? Plate number 4112. Well, that's the end of the video, folks. He got upset because the cops saw right through his act and dismissed him fairly quickly. And then he chased down another police officer to try to antagonize them, even though they were not involved with the situation at all. What a complete moron. Well, that's the end of the video, folks. And if you like the content, please don't forget to rate, comment, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And thank you to my new subscribers for your generous comments. Thank you very much.